Alrighty, Hases, welcome back. And in this video, I am going to teach you guys how to design layouts using the grid system in Bootstrap. Now, a grid, as we know, is made up of a bunch of rows, left and right, and columns, up and down. Now, whenever we use Bootstrap, we can have a maximum of 12 columns. Now, this doesn't mean that every single web page that we make it has to be 12 columns and you know look like a big grid we can actually take these 12 columns and if we just want one big one we can just group them all together and also let's say that you just wanted to have a sidebar on the left hand side in your main area well we can like take two of those columns group them together put them on the left and we can take the 10 other ones and use them for the main content right here but remember 12 it's our magic number now another thing I want to point out and this is the last terminology that I'm gonna throw at you guys before you start actually getting hands-on whenever we're using our grid system it has four different classes let me just type all these out XS SM MD and LG so extra small small medium and large that's what they stand for and these relate to what device are you trying to design your website for so extra small is for phones, small is for tablets, medium is for normal desktops and laptops, and large is for larger desktops like those huge iMacs. Now, later on, what we're going to be doing is, let's say that you want to create a layout that, I don't know, let's say a desktop, you want to have a layout that the sidebar only takes up two columns, but for a tablet, you think it looks better if, you know, your sidebar takes up four columns you can actually use these classes to change it but in these first couple of examples and for the most of my tutorials I'm just gonna make one generic website that's responsive to every single device so we can just use say like MD and I'm gonna show you how to make a website that looks good on every you know single device whether it's a phone or you know a big jumbo desktop so let's get into that right now so let's say that we what can we do in this video we'll say that we're making a really simple web page and it's gonna have three columns and it's gonna take up the entire width of the screen so how would we do that well remember the first thing we need to do is change this from container which is a fixed width to container fluid now remember that is going to give us the functionality to take up the entire width of the screen and also let me add a header so heading one I'll just say um three column layout now whenever you make columns they have to go inside rows so div and the class for this is just row so now inside this row we're just gonna stick three columns and remember since we have to take up twelve columns and we only want three of them we're gonna have each of those take up four columns. So four plus four plus four is 12. Simple enough. So div class equals col minus md, since we're just gonna make this a generic, you know, uh, website for a desktop, and then minus four. So we're just making a regular column that's gonna span four columns. I know I use the word columns a lot, but that's what it's doing. It's taking up the width of four columns. And just so we can differentiate these, I'm just gonna change the background color of each one. It'll be easier to see in this little demo. So background color, gotta find my shortcut. Too lazy to type it. And what's a good color? So FF, uh, I don't know, like 9999. And this one can just say first. So let me copy this and just add it two more times. All right, so this is gonna be the first column. On the left-hand side, this one's gonna be the one in the middle. So I'll actually just write left, middle, and right. And let me just change the color to, uh, I don't know, 99CCFF. And uh, what else is a good color? 00CC99. Let me run this and check it out. All right, so there you go. Here is our heading right here. And remember, since we use a fluid container, it's taking up the entire screen. So left, middle, right, this is all one row with three columns. And check out what happens whenever I shrink this. Huh, that's pretty handy. I mean, we didn't add any functionality, so it 
you know, all stacked on top of each other. But, I mean, a phone is about that size, let's say. Everything is all there, nothing gets squished. This middle and right section aren't getting cut off. Still, they are still right there. And check that out. Pretty awesome, eh? And real quick, let me show you guys what it looks like if it is a regular container instead of fluid. So let me run this and check it out. So here is our fluid one and we can see that this takes up the full width of the screen. No space on the left or right. And this is the regular container. You see that we now have a fixed width and we have some spacing on the left and right. So full screen, not full screen. That's the difference and that is how you use the grid system to make a really simple layout.